If you're in the mood for a great bowl of creamy, cheesy mushroom risotto, but don't feel like going out to the restaurant and paying their prices, then you've clicked on the right video. Here's how to make your very own mushroom risotto. First, we'll start off with some fresh garlic. You'll need three cloves, peeled and minced. Next, you'll need one shallot chopped up small. They don't have to be too tiny. I would say the pieces should be about half an inch wide, roughly. So I cut the shallot in half, sliced it about four times lengthwise, and then chopped it to the desired size. It should look something like this. Next up are the mushrooms. I had six ounces of cremini and 10 ounces of baby bella. This comes out to one pound of mushrooms. I rinsed them off and then sliced all of them until I ended up with this. Now to start cooking. I have a large pan on medium heat and add about one tablespoon of olive oil to coat the pan. Then I add the mushrooms and start to saute them. I also seasoned the mushrooms a little bit with some salt and ground black pepper. While the mushrooms are cooking, you'll need to start warming up some broth in a separate pan. I use six cups of low sodium chicken broth. You can use another type of broth like vegetable, but it has to be low sodium or else the risotto will end up very salty. Once the mushrooms look like this, they can be set to the side for now. And then in the same pan, you can coat it with another tablespoon of olive oil and start to saute the shallot. Once they've cooked for a couple minutes, you can add your minced garlic as well as any other herbs you have around and feel like adding. I had some fresh chives and basil that I put in. After all that cooks for about another minute, we can add the arborio rice. You'll need one and a half cups and make sure it's rinsed before you add it to the pan. Once all the rice is in, stir it around for a minute just to get everything mixed together. Then go ahead and add half a cup of dry white wine. Today I used a Sauvignon Blanc. I'll show you the bottle right here. I thought that it worked well in the risotto and also tasted pretty good on its own. Now this part is gonna be the most time consuming, so it's probably a good idea to have a drink nearby. We'll have to gradually add our warm broth to the rice. So take a measuring cup and add about three quarters of a cup of broth and continually stir the rice until all of that broth has been absorbed. Once that happens, you're gonna go ahead and add the next three quarters of a cup of broth. As you continue to do this, you're going to see the rice start to expand and towards the end, I was starting to taste the rice. You'll know it's ready when it has an al dente texture to it. So here I'm adding the last of the broth. You can really see how much the rice has expanded since the beginning. I threw in another pinch of salt and added most of the cooked mushrooms into the risotto. The leftovers will be placed on top during serving. Now all you have to do is continue to stir until the last of the broth is absorbed and the risotto will start to look nice and creamy. Once it's finally absorbed, add half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Then continue to fold that in until it's completely combined. Once the cheese has been all mixed in, you can add some more salt and pepper to your liking, give it a couple more quick stirs, and your risotto is finally ready. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like and please subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Let me know in the comments if you're going to give this a try and what you think of it. And as always, the recipe can be found in the description below. I really think you'll enjoy this if you give it a try. Mine came out great. You can click right here for more cooking and cocktail recipes. And if you feel like subscribing. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon.